everyone this is Julian welcome back to the channel and welcome to my last pot of fame for the year 2021 it is New Year's Eve I'm back in wet Santa Monica it was raining for several days and I just uncovered the cacti this morning before going down to the studio to teach for the day and I figured since the Sun is out but not striking on the plants unfortunately i should come out here sit in front of the cacti so you can see a different point of view and share with you just a handful of plants that survived the crazy weather and the last part of the year i didn't do pot of fame for november december because i was in hawaii and las vegas and i have not really been with the collection which was like the first month I never filmed Pot of Fame. By the time I came back from Las Vegas, it was halfway through December. So I figured let's just do a wrap up end of the year Pot of Fame. And by the time this video goes live, I imagine hopefully it'll go live before I go to Costa Rica and Brazil because I am going in about seven weeks. So we'll see when this video comes out. But I wanna highlight a handful of plants. There is one plant that is really large in front of my patio door so we're gonna have to go to that and i'm super excited to share that because there's a little baby that i just seen which is so exciting but the collection really took a beating the patio took a beating everything is wet and i feel really bad for the collection so i'm just glad that the rain is gone so it's just sunny skies from here on out hopefully i gathered a handful of plants that are doing really good in the collection and we're just gonna talk about them one by one in no particular order the first one i want to share and i believe this is some kind of euphorbia if i can look it up and put the id somewhere on the screen i will it's kind of very similar to the pickle uh cactus uh but the pickle cactus i actually have it and i think it's somewhere on my shelf there and it's variegated um so when i find the id on this one i will put it up on the screen or if you know comment down below this was given to me as a gift from a plant haul from my subscriber here in southern california I think I gave a handful to my plant friends and I kept the rest. This is what I kept. And I just want to share with you like all of the new growth. So look at this. It's like almost like vining. And then there's little growth here and here. So I thought I'd share it. It's a weird and quirky plant as you can see. It really got hit from the rain. But I hope everything will be okay because even if i covered it while i was in las vegas the rain still got to it it was that bad but i think it was like four or five days of rain and all of my sense of areas were hidden inside of the house but i did bring them out for a couple of hours yesterday to get some rain water and then brought them back in so here's a sense of area since we're on the topic of sense of areas and i don't know what sense of area this is i don't know if this is like a moonshine sense of area it is gorgeous and this baby is the one that i wanted to highlight take a look at it it is so beautiful some of my sense of areas are in las vegas and i will do a thursday check-in maybe highlighting five plants that are doing good in the las vegas collection when i'm there next week which will go up prior to this video so if you haven't seen that video check it out and i'm really proud of the sense of areas for making it through the year really and i'm so glad that i was able to bring them inside of the house and they stayed indoors while the rain came and destroyed outside here's another fun one a very cool update on one of my rip salices i have a very big green heart for rip salices they're super cool weird interesting and quirky some of them flower some of them give these berries they call this the chunky rip salis and i think it's just super cool if you look really closely there's some berries on there i had this particular rip salis in the collection for a couple of years very easy low maintenance plant hopefully the rain water won't destroy it um, but very fun to see the update and i imagine it'd be very easy to propagate i've never propagated this ripsalis before but if you look really good there is some looks like some little aerial roots here so i imagine if i was going to propagate it i would cut it here and i would just stick this in soil you can see more of the aerial roots here so very fun to see look at that so cute 
So yes, they're very very cute. They look like little berries and then they get into these cute little blooms. And I'll show you one other example shortly of another Ripsalis that is giving off the berries and beautiful orange blossoms. And I wish I could dry the blossoms that come from the Ripsalises and put them in my art, but they're very hard to like take apart and have it intact. Another fun update is on my pothos pothos the manjula super cool like look at the characteristic of the way how it's going like super cool right and this plant has been with me for a while now this was actually gifted to me from one of you guys one of my subscribers this lives full time in my studio on my diy shelf with a bunch of other plants apparently it loves living life there i'm so glad this plant is still surviving because there's so many rare plants and just plants in general that has came and gone with my schedule or just they were not happy but this one for me is on the rare side so i'm glad that i was able to still keep it and not have it like stress out with my crazy schedule i did bring it outside yesterday for some rain water but just take a look at the growth and I love the patterns. I love, all, I love all variegation of the pothos. There's so many to collect, really. You can just go crazy with the pothos, pothos. Another one living in the same section. They're like buddies, they're neighbors. This is my philodendron reel. And so much growth here. Take a look at this. Lots of new growth. And if I wanted to, I could totally propagate from this but I don't mind seeing the trails. If I could hang this from the ceiling, I would. Tons of new growth. And then here too, there's so many new sections just living its best life. But it just makes me happy to see all these little parts shoot off and hopefully they'll trail and then I can have this side more trady but so far so good i mean if i really wanted to i could go crazy with propagating i would cut here i would make multiple cuttings off of this trail but i don't want to do that this is also considered a rare plant for me so super cool to see it living its best green life in the collection so yes the manjula and the rio lives next to each other i'm a huge fan of trailing plants whether they're pothos, pothos, or other things like ripsalis. Ripsalis also trails. I'll show you the other ripsalis I'm talking about. This thing is my ride or die. Like literally, my dancing bone ripsalis. I've had him for a while. It's living in a cobalt blue planter. I got this from my Santa Monica nursery a couple miles away from me. In fact, I should go there. And I'm probably gonna end up finding something I like there. But as you see, they give off these cute little berry looking things that eventually open up. Like you see in this one here, I have one white bloom here. And it just looks so cute. It almost looks like candy or something. And it's bright orangey yellow. It's so beautiful. This thing never disappoints. Every season, it blooms for me ever since I had it in the collection and it's been with me for several years. So I'm a huge fan of Ripsalis. I should do more collective videos this coming year. I will try to fit some in over the next couple of months. Maybe in between my big travels, I can do a collective video on one of my favorite plants that I like to have in the collection but Ripsalis for sure like I love my Ripsalis collection I will always continue to add more Ripsalis in the collection if, if I come across any as well as sense of areas like for sure those two philodendrons so let's talk about another sense of area take a look at this I want to say this is a samurai comment down below if you think this is a samurai but look at this it has two little babies like how cute is that super super cute so i'm very happy about this this lives full time in my studio but this was one of the babies that i brought out to get some rain water a little bit yesterday so happy to see that and i had sold off many plant babies off my sense of areas before or gifted them so it's nice to be able to do plant life and be able to share I believe this is the philodendron maximum I believe I'm not too sure and I had this plant for a while and I think I got this online 
but I don't think it was ID so I want to say this is a maximum comment down below but I want to share with you the new leaf that it's unfurling because it's in a very cool stage and it's one of those leaves where they unfurl for you one color and then as they age and get into its full mature state it becomes a whole different color it is so cool take a look at that so very fun to be able to share what it looks like currently and this lives in the bathroom full time but this plant i think came outside yesterday as well for some rainwater. speaking of bathroom plants i brought out my one of my anastonias i swear they do not like my schedule if you're a traveler or not wanting well you know it also depends where you live where is the plant living you know this plant may do really good in somebody else's home so this is the condition and status of my monster anastonia it trails it really does trail super long the trails are not happy at one point they were all staked up on a pole i took it down i took some cuttings if you guys remember all of the cuttings did not make it and it was propagating while i was traveling so i don't know if that's another thing too if i was maybe home i would have been able to maybe catch it save it or i feel like it belonged like in an enclosed environment versus just stuck in water maybe it would have done better that way but ever since i took it off of the pole it grew so much like this is all new growth this never existed like ever existed and i think i did share with you guys maybe on a thursday check-in uh the status of it growing but it's been a while since i shared it on the channel so this is the status of it and if you look really good every single section is popping off new new growth take a look at that and then here as well so the question is and maybe by the time this video goes live i maybe might have done it a lot what should i do with all of these trails because a part of me is thinking should i just cut them all off oh my gosh that would just like drive me crazy i think cut it all off and start fresh and try to save these cuttings i mean it's crazy it just doesn't look attractive anymore and the problem is is that because of my crazy schedule of not really being at home i just don't know i don't know what to do because the original cuttings that I took from this mother plant all didn't make it because I just was not home to supervise it. So comment down below what do you think I should do? Should I keep the trails on there looking crazy or should I just cut it all off and start fresh with this? And see if I can save any of that because it looks super crazy. Another plant I want to share with you is my, I believe this is the Frosted Heart Anthurium super cool i'm a huge fan of incorporating new interesting plants in the collection this was part of my christmas end of the year holiday plant haul and this was probably my most expensive plant that i purchased for the year i'm thinking maybe it's between the painted lady and this plant uh it's i guess apparently and i didn't know anything about this plant until i seen it that's the cool thing about plant life and especially kind of dangerous if you're a collector i've always been a collector my whole life of something and with plant life you can just keep collecting and it's never going to end so that's one thing i need to be careful about being a collector is like there's always something to add to the collection with that being said this anthurium i personally didn't know about this plant until i seen it and i purchased it and here it is living in the collection and since i brought it home a couple of weeks ago as you can see it's unfurling another leaf which is also another cool stage so i'm glad that i was able to capture this along with the maximum they're both living in the bathroom and unfurling new leaves super super cool so i think that is all of the plants that i brought outside here that could come and sit with me while i plant talk and hang out with you guys let's go to one more plant that is too big for me to bring over share with you the new baby and growth that it gave me before we wrap up today's video hi and here we are i want to show you the top part of my amac euphorbia variegata it is huge i'll step back so you can see just how incredibly long and tall it is so here is the whole top to bottom of my amac euphorbia variegata and as you see as i come up close here 
tons of new growth all of this is new growth but in today's video i wanted to share with you the baby as you see here this is news to my plant ears because this happened probably while i was in las vegas do you believe that a baby will walk around this way so you can see how cute it is so cute originally when i bought this plant there was two babies about this big probably yeah probably about this big and i took both of them and i sold them off to you guys and they're probably like just as big probably like maybe imagine this big i'm thinking comment down below if you purchase one of the babies how big is it dm me on instagram a photo of it that'd be super cool but yeah how interesting is that a new baby i'm so happy about that this is probably like my favorite thing to wrap up my that plant i'm gonna wrap up my last pot of fame for 2021 it is new year's eve and i do teach tomorrow morning first thing in the morning so i won't be up late at night and i decided to take this year off from dancing and teaching instead because last New Year's Eve I danced in Las Vegas but I'll be back there to dance in two days so I'll be still dancing for the New Year's season which is pretty exciting because my grandma and Evie's waiting back for me in Las Vegas so it's just me and the plants for the week here in Santa Monica but literally I've been inside like staying dry but literally like a crazy plant person that I am I was going in and out bringing the plants out for some water bringing them in for the plants that live in the collection and then just praying for my plants out here that they can survive the crazy weather but i'm so happy to share with you another year of pot of fame it is my favorite series on the channel where i can just sit down and just hang out on the channel besides thursday's check-in no matter where i am around the world and just sit down and talk plants with you share with you current things that is happening throughout the year my collection every month is a month of growth for me here in my part of the world so there's always something happening and that's the cool thing about plant life is it's always very fun and interesting to see what the collection is going to do and gift you and i hope this inspires you to add different plants to the collection if you can one uh, be able to get them in your part of the world and afford them and I do want to share also a thought that I want to share on the channel as I wrap up my plant year and by the time this video goes live we'll be in the new year that if and I know nowadays it's so hard if you're watching social media or this platform you see that plant life can get really crazy and really expensive but there is plant life out there that is affordable and fit for any budget so don't feel that there's so many plants out there that you want or maybe not have such a big collection or feel like your collection is not worthy enough to share i personally love to share everyone's collection whether it's a few plants or hundreds of plants like mine i feel super inspired to share every level Life can get really expensive as you see many of my plants cost hundreds of dollars especially the rare ones that are very like crazy right now on social media plants can get really expensive but there's also plants that are very affordable i imagine i think you know you could find a small little sensevaria easily for a couple of dollars or under twenty dollars so plant life can get reasonable depending on what type of plant it is where you're living in the world and there's always a plant for your budget so i hope this inspires you this new plant year comment down below what was your favorite plant that i shared in today's video and it's the last day of the year by the time this video goes live you would have seen planting with julian plant awards you would have seen my big christmas plant haul and i look forward to sharing with you another plant year journey of mine here on the main channel and another year of pot of fame i've done this series now for over a year so if you love seeing updates of my collection because i have so much it's hard for me to share all of them so pot of fame is a great series i put on the main channel well over a year ago where you can see updates on the collection every month and it's a just a nice way for me to just sit down relax and talk plants on the channel so thank you guys so much for hanging with me another plant year here on the channel i hope this inspires you to add a little green in your space 
and comment down below how are you enjoying your new year with plants i will see you next month for another pot of fame you can find me every day on this platform between both channels my videos go live every 5 a.m and if you haven't subscribed to the vlog channel go ahead and check it out because i do share a lot of behind the scenes of my plant life and eventually i will share with you my plant for for the patio bathroom and studio by the time this video goes live you would already have seen my front of the house plant tour so you would know what's going on behind me and i'm just so thankful to have you guys supporting me on my daily uploads so that is going to wrap up today's pot of fame i think i'm just saying all these things because as i physically film this video it is new year's eve and i think i have maybe like two more hours until the sun goes down but by the time this video goes live i think we'll be like january february is what i'm thinking i hope this video will go live before i go to costa rica and brazil and speaking of which if i have any opportunity to film plant life in costa rica and brazil i will film that for the main channel i would imagine so because it's such a tropical place but at the same time i feel like costa rica might be a little bit hard to maybe come across a plant nursery maybe i might be able to come across a plant nursery in rio i'll do some research and i'm super excited to share that on travel with julian on the vlog channel so subscribe to the vlog channel i'll sign up here if you're new welcome to the channel subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel and the vlog channel you get a video each and every day I'm gonna go back to wearing my carpal tunnel braces because apparently from two weeks ago I started getting aching pains in my arm and waking up with numb hands so this is going to be like my new best friend for 2022 so if you ever see me vlogging and I'm wearing these it's because of that so I'm gonna be a good girl put on my braces here and i'll sign off here i will see you guys very very soon and i will see you as always no matter where i am around the road on a thursday check-in thank you guys so much for supporting me and wish me well as i try to be gentle on myself with this crazy problem that i just started living with i'll see you soon until next time aloha from santa monica california and the collection bye <laughs>